Thank you. Well, today we are finally getting to hear from some officials of the Pelagic Research Services firm in East Aurora, which was central in the efforts to rescue the Titan submersible last week. It also worked to recover debris from the sea floor after they found it had exploded. Here's Channel 2's Ron Plants. We always knew that we'd be called at some point, and so we prepared the system for that. That system was the 19,000 foot deep diving remotely piloted vehicle called the Odysseus 6K built in 2016 with its powerful thrusters and strong articulating arms which can grasp and help lift. Its creator watching nervously as it functioned almost flawlessly at those crushing ocean depths. I mean, every time it goes in there's, you know, like confidence that of course it's going to work but still in the back of your head you know it's like if it ever wasn't going to please don't it be right now you know but it worked great. It was controlled by pelagic research staffers in this control room aboard the Horizon Arctic search ship in the North Atlantic. Odysseus and those controllers actually found the debris field Thursday a week ago. The plan was to grab the Titan and once grab the Titan with our manipulators then we had her. We continued to document the site and by 12 o'clock, sadly, a rescue turned into a recovery. I have to apologize, we're, we're still demobilizing. It's a lot of emotions, people are tired. They did all that after their rush 23 hour deployment with gear and crew flying from Buffalo via Air Force cargo jets up to St. John's, Newfoundland and out to the search site. While the loss of the five people weighs heavy, there's also pride in knowing how hard they worked in an international search effort while normally based in East Aurora. Our primary market is deep sea science. So we've worked a lot with University of Victoria, Ocean Networks Canada as example, NOAA and other groups. This is our operational base. We're a mobile system, so in a sense we can be anywhere. Now the Odysseus and other equipment being sent to East Aurora by truck now. It's going to arrive on Monday. Again, it worked well. Another similar craft in the search actually malfunctioned down there. So lessons learned for everyone, albeit mixed in with that grim reality. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.